So today we're going to make a little maze game where I can move around a little uh, grayscale map I've got. I can shoot some bullets and I can navigate the map that I've made. All using P5 Play and P5JS. And we can go ahead and start creating our map. So first things first, I have gone on to Tazumi Town Map Editor. And I've got a little snipping tool here. I've made a little map. So it could be a maze. My idea is like it was a bunch of rooms. Doesn't matter what it is. We're just going to make a real simple um, map to start off with. So I've got my tiles of F and S and I've got a G for a goal. So now I've got that sorted out, I'm going to go ahead and make a tile map. So I'm going to do let tile map, let tile size. So I'm just going to do mine to be 10 by 10. And then I need to make a bunch of variables. So I've got player, I've got walls, I've got um, my floor. Um, I've got some shadows, I've got a goal, and then I've got a bullet for my game. So I'm going to make a bunch of groups now. So I'm going to do um, walls equals a new group. That's going to be my wall that we walk around. So I'm going to do walls.color equals black. Walls.tile equals S, I think I called mine. Um, walls collider equals s sorry that's a that's the collider it's a dash i've got in mind and i've got walls.w equals tile size and walls.height equals tile size now a lot of this is going to be repeated so i need to make a floor i need to make my shadows i need to make my goal so i've already got these so i'm just going to copy these in and allow you to pause the video so i've got my four groups and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in from Tazumi Tile Map Editor my tile map just like this and then fingers crossed unless I've done something particularly bad it should draw my map so that's my map there so it's the same map drawn on here so this is my same map with my shadows around the walls my dash on my walls and my little goal in the corner which is pink in this so I've created that alright and that's absolutely fine it looks okay so not I'm gonna do is what's probably best as well for these um kind of games is to get if you've got lots of assets to load you could probably get away with if I'm honest with you changing your setup to be a preload so it loads all the map and that first and then do a nice function setup like that and paste that back in nothing should change with the game but it's all loaded beforehand so you won't see anything um so we've got some images loading later on or whatever you can put all your image loading and things in your animations later on all in that preload um so the other thing i'm going to need is i'm going to need a bullet group so i'm just going to make that up here so i'm just going to do uh, bullet equals a new group and then i'm going to do bullet dot radius equals one bullet dot speed equals um five Bullet dot life. So what life does, if you don't know, is it'll despawn after 30 frames. And then bullet dot collider equals none at the moment. We're going to change that later on. So we're going to make our player. So we're going to say player equals a new sprite. We're going to make that. I'll just do 70, 70 so it's in the map. And then the size is going to be the tile size divided by two. Which you get to change that later on. Tile size divided by two. And that's going to have a dynamic collider. And then I'm going to do player dot rotation lock equals true. So it didn't go pit walls and go all flying around and weird. So now what we're going to need to do is create a bunch of functions that we're going to use. So we can have, uh, we'll put the background in. So let's have the background as the same or same ish. Nice little grey background. Um, I'm going to have a function called camera control, which is going to control our camera, obviously. We've got movement for our movement and then shoot for our shooting. So we need to make these now. So we've got function camera control function movement and then we're going to have function shoot. So for camera control it's going to be really easy. We'll do camera dot zoom equals three camera dot x equals player dot x camera dot y equals player dot y for our shooting that's nice and easy so we'll get that one done first 
we're going to say if mouse dot pressed and then we're going to say make a new bullet so let b equals new bullet dot sprite we're going to make this on the player dot x and the player dot y and then we're just going to say b dot direction equals b dot angle two we're going to shoot with the mouse um, and then we've got something a little bit weird in this function because we're running constantly we're just going to do a little b of bullet like that and we're just going to do if b um, sorry if not b dot overlapping the player so if we're not overlapping it we're just going to do b dot collider equals dynamic so basically it's not going to hit yourself and push you back or anything like that and then we're just going to do our usual which is set our x and y velocities for our movement so again pause this video but it looks so we've got if you press in w s and d it's just going to set our velocity if i run that now fingers crossed it all works nicely i should be able to run around the map and then i can shoot you can see these bullets if i shoot them at the wall at these spawning so obviously you can change that if i want it to be a bit longer I could change the, the life to be 60 or 90 or 55, don't matter what you do, and last a little bit longer. What you don't want to do is end up obviously hitting yourself, but I have set it now, so if the bullet does, see it's spawning from inside, if it hits me, it's not going to do anything weird. If I take that bit of code out and just do that, um, like that, what you find happens, now you can do this by just offsetting the bullet, but it's a lot of work. Um, is let's just change the collider back as well to dynamics at the minute it's going to shoot through walls which you don't want see that it's moving me because it's hitting myself and most of the walls so if we just set that back and uncomment that code there it means we can play the game and nothing particularly breaks so part two, we'll start looking at enemies and make it look a bit prettier and things like that. But this is the first in the series for this little maze game. So please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.